Search and recovery efforts are continuing in the U.S. state of Texas after several flooding, after severe flooding over the past week that has killed over 20 people. Some residents are still unaccounted for, and many homes in the state have been destroyed. Our correspondent Hendrik Sabrandi reports from one of the hardest hit communities, the town of Wimberley in central Texas. Branch by branch, tree by tree, the people of Wimberley, Texas, are hauling away evidence of the biggest storm to hit this town in memory. We've had the water get up and we've had flood damage before, but nothing like this. Nothing. I really can't comprehend it. This is the first time I've seen it in person other than the news. After torrential rains last Saturday night, the Blanco River crested at 13 meters, over three meters higher than the last record surge back in 1926. The deluge swept away a riverside home where nine people were vacationing together. The river swept the house away with eight of them inside. We saw a light coming down the river and we heard a woman screaming for help, just saying, please help us, somebody please help us. They were on debris. We don't know whether it was a rooftop or what. A ninth person survived, rescued miles downstream. His wife and two kids are still missing. This is all that remains of the house. They were gone before we could do anything. The river came through in a big hurry that night, stripping bark off of trees. The wall of water also bent the trees in the direction the river was headed. Around 70 homes in the Wimberley area were destroyed, some almost beyond recognition. Many others, like Joel Moore's, were heavily damaged. We had three feet of water in our house. We had to remove all the contents, cut the sheetrock out of the house, power wash it. Laverne Rydell lives on higher ground, so the flood spared her home. She's still trying to account for all of her friends and neighbors. And you don't even know how to get in touch with them and talk to them because I don't know, you know, where are they gone? This month's heavy rain threw a lifeline to drought ravaged Texas. We needed the rain. There's been enough for a while. It nearly washed this community away. I have to admit, I'll cry when I get home. <laughs> the recovery in Wimberley, a small town that's always depended on this river for tourism, is only just beginning. We're grateful. We're very grateful. We can rebuild, we can buy furniture, we can't replace people. Hendrick Sabrandi, CCTV, Wimberley, Texas.